I truly need your help in finding one of these things. If I haven't found one by the time you see this video. Welcome once again, my fine feathered chicklets. What well, I have a problem here. Got a big problem. Got the. Uh, Y'all saw this guitar? I unboxed it. Okay, it's a Gibson Hummingbird. You see? Look at the pick guard on it. It's got what is known as a printed pick guard. Well, I got one right here. A printed pick guard. Now you can get these with uh, engraved engraving. And I mean, the owner's been looking all over the internet, and we can't find them. <laughs> I mean, you can buy them all day long on eBay and Amazon and uh, Reverb. 12, 14, 16 bucks, 20 some bucks. Are they all going to be too little? This one's too little. I'm going to show you here in a minute so you don't ever make this mistake. Uh, and then you can also get them for 150, 200 bucks. I mean, wow, what's the difference there? Those are engraved ones, 150, 200 dollar ones I'm talking about. But uh, for a pick guard, man, come on. I mean, I'll bring you over and show you what, what I'm up against here, and then if you all can find a, a place <laughs> that sells ones that actually fit these guitars, I would appreciate that a big, big time. I'm going to come over and get you now, bring you over here and show you the trouble. All right, see here. <laughs> this is all wore off, see? It's got a little bit left here and a little bit uh, right there, and that's all that's left on there. You can see a little, a little bit of that. Let me zoom in on it for you. So you can just see bits and pieces of the the print. This was a printed one, by the way. It's very, very thin, man. Some of them you can get are really thick. This is a thin one, too. But look how much difference this is, man. It said that this was for a Gibson Hummingbird. Oh, yeah, if you'll notice here, too, this pick guard is not lined up with the hole around there. Maybe if I can get you around here, you can see it. See how it's... How close it is to the hole here it gets farther away from the hole as you come around this way you, you know whoever put that on there ought to be kicked in the teeth because <laughs> it's you know the whole pick guard should have been moved back that way anyways look at this check that out man this one I just put on there it is lined up with the hole it's where it should go we look it's sticking out it's too little up here it's too little all the way around. It does miraculously reach that almost back here. Not quite though, but almost. Look at that, how much it's off there. Now I've heard uh, complaints on the internet about uh, Epiphone guitar hummingbirds. Pick guards being too little and uh, not the right size or whatever, and not the right thickness. This is very thin one, as I said. You can see it there, how thin it is. I think I gave 12 bucks, I think, for that one. But uh, I don't have the pick guard material to make that with. And if I did have, I couldn't put the inlay in it. I can't paint that good or draw. I <laughs> barely can write. But check that out, man. It's lined up now pretty close. Well, no, not quite. There it is. It's fairly close to the sound hole now. And look how little it is. This is where I need your help. Wow. See, like up here, it matches. And down around there, it matches. But right here, if you can see that, the old one's sticking. Man, that's a good quarter of an inch or more than that. Look at that. Look at the difference. And if I got you in the camera or not, the light shining. Yeah, there, that difference I'm talking about. Light shining my monitor, and I can't see it too good. Anyways. Beautiful guitar it is. Just lovely. And if I pull this old pick guard off and put one on there that's smaller than it, then you know the finish around here, you're gonna be able to see it. I doubt that it's got it might have finish underneath that. I don't know if it does or not. I've I don't know. It's coming up right here a little bit already. But I won't know till I get it off. If I peel this one off and it's finished under there, then I probably am going to be able to use this one right here. I just hate to take it off, you know, until I know we've got one <laughs> to put on it. Look how well that, that looks, though, man. This is a printed one. It's going to wear out over time, too. The engraved ones never wear out. You know, play, wipe them, stroke them with your picks or whatnot. 
I've been making a saddle here for this guitar. I've got it down almost now where I need to start fitting it in the slot here. That he wanted to, I don't know if it's his bone, I see what it is, but he wanted a tusk saddle, and that's what that is, or will be after it's born. <laughs> Hold on. I've been working just about three hours on that saddle, following that thing, man. It was a square blank, a huge piece of, of ivory, <laughs> or what even, tusk. Uh, and I'm just now getting it down to where I'm going to take the strings off now and fit it down, get it in the slot, and intonate it more. I, I started intonating it a little bit, intonating it a little bit, but it's still got some ways to go yet. And I'm sure it's too thick to go in there. I should have just left that there. Put it right here. Anyways, if you know where we can get a pick guard for this thing. See, there's, that's a dandy one right there, man. That's a good looking pick guard. I can't use it unless there's finish under here. I should maybe just go ahead and take that, that one off. And like I say, I just hate to do that, you know, without having one here to put back on. Because I don't know if Gibson finished under the pick guards. You know, a lot of Martin guitars, they put the pick guard on bare wood and then finish over the whole thing, pick guard and all. all. That ain't what they did here. It ain't got finish over the pick guard. But if it's got finish under the pick guard, I think I can get it off without ruining the finish. And uh, we, like I said, I can use this old one here. But if it don't have, we're going to have to have one exactly that size, you know, to cover up the bare wood. If it is bare wood, so I don't know. I'm gonna talk to the owner again about this and see. Anyways, if y'all know of a place, I would really appreciate uh, any direction. These things, like I said, I think I paid twelve dollars for that one. I've seen them for in the teens, sixteen like. Uh, seen them for twenty something. Seen some for forty and sixties, and they they were all printed like this. Now the engraved ones, they're the ones I told you they, I couldn't find them for less than, uh, oh God, I think about $150 was about as cheap as I saw them. I was going to say something else and I can't remember what it was. Oh, they make a rosewood one, I can get that, it's about 100 bucks. A rosewood pick card, it's got the same, very same design in it. But there again, you know, I like to order from a place, if you all know any. It's going to give me the right size, you know what I mean? So if you can uh, do that, it would be a big hand, a great big hand, for not only me, but from uh, the owner of this guitar as well. I think I am going to go ahead and heat that and take it off. So that'll probably be the next video you see on this guitar. I don't know if I played any of this to y'all or not. This thing sounds more like a Martin than it does a Gibson. <laughs> test too. See, I tuned it up. I'm going to see if it, uh, I'll just keep you here for a minute. And I want to see over time if it changed. Dead on the money, man. It has not changed. That's a little bit low. That one's a little bit low. And that one's a little, a little bit low. But that's good. A lot of guitars, if they are untuned and you put string stress on them, tune them up to pitch, and you come back the next day or two and they'll drop like a half step sometimes. It's just, you know, a weak guitar. <laughs> I got a video showing you how to check your guitar for that. Anyways, look for pick guards. And uh, let me know as quick as you can. If I haven't found one by the time you all see this video, uh, let me know as quick as you can where I can get one at. And know that it's going to be the right size and actually fit this guitar. You know, I don't want to stick something on there and, and no finish around the outer edges of it. That's going to look like crap. 
and I don't believe you're going to get one bigger than this one that's on here now. You know, if I'm lucky enough to get one the same size, would be nice. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm half asleep. I'm going to drink more coffee and go kick back and watch some tube, I think. A real tube, not YouTube. I watch YouTube quite a lot more than I do TV, but it's time for the news. So cheers. Thank you guys for any info you can give me, and I'll see you on the flip side of the flop. <laughs> Woo-woo-woo-woo! The Boogity Bob. Woo!